This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1341, There Are No Extra Lives. Make This One Count, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Tuesday to you and welcome back, or welcome for the first time if you're new here. This is where I simply read to you every single day of the year, including weekends and holidays. And before we get to today's post, small business owners wear a lot of hats. While some hats are great, others like the filing taxes and running payroll hat are not so great. Those are some of the worst hats I have to wear, but not anymore thanks to Gusto. Gusto makes payroll, taxes, and HR actually easy for small businesses. Gusto automatically pays and files your federal, state, and local taxes so that you don't have to worry about it. Plus, they make it easy to add on health benefits and even 401ks for your team. And you can get direct access to certified HR experts too. Sounds like a great way to take care of your business, right? This is how I do it and have been for years, and now's the time to do it. We still have time before tax season, so don't wait. Let Gusto make it easier on you. As a bonus, my listeners get three months free when they run their first payroll. This is one hat you're gonna be glad you gave up just like me. Try a demo and see for yourself at gusto.com slash old. That's G-U-S-T-O dot com slash O-L-D. For now, let's get right to it as we optimize your life. There Are No Extra Lives, Make This One Count, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Before I started Nerd Fitness, I worked for a company called Sixth Man, which produces floating music festivals. Although I no longer work for them and even have a full team here at Nerd Fitness now, I still attend one event every year without fail. The Rock Boat, a floating musical festival where you spend five days with music fans and 25 plus bands. It's my one chance every year to truly disconnect reflect, and embrace my love of music. While at sea, I received word that one of my former coworkers from Six Man had passed away due to complications from surgery for lung cancer, despite never having smoked a cigarette in her life. Tiffany was only 31. Here on Nerd Fitness, I often talk about how we don't get to pick the level of difficulty we have to play on in the game of life. Some people get to play on easy, while others have to play on legendary. Tiffany played on a level two steps above legendary, forced to deal with a tremendous number of issues throughout her life, never once failing to sport a smile or positive attitude. She simply played the hand she was dealt to the best of her ability, smiling till the very end. She never complained or asked why. It broke my heart, and I am really going to miss her. It's a shame that it generally takes a tragedy to remind us how short and unexpected life can be and that we need to enjoy every day. The stark realization is that in order to live our lives fully and happily, we have to remember we have no extra lives. This is it. Do you enjoy your story? As Gandalf the Grey taught us, quote, all we have to do is decide what to do with the time that is given to us, end quote. I receive emails daily from people who are in crappy situations or are unhappy about the path they're on, and my advice is generally the same. You must find a way to be happy today because tomorrow is not guaranteed. If you're in a crappy job, start looking for a new one today or make your own. If you're in a crappy relationship, get out of it. If you're friends with people who drag you down, fire them and move on. Yes, all of these is easier said than done, somebody once told me. You can make excuses or you can get what you want, but not both. The first time I heard that, it felt like a slap in the face, a brutal wake-up call. If you're not interested in getting what you want, i.e. continuing to be unhappy and making excuses about why change won't work, you're filling yourself with untapped potential, regret, and what if. Yes, it is morbid to say, but the lives remaining counter in our game is zero. We could get hit by a bus tomorrow or find out that the one thing we all take for granted, our health, is taken from us at a moment's notice. So be happy today. Here's how I found to do that. Make your life about the story, not about possessions or bank accounts. I'm not telling you to quit your job and move into a tent in the mountains, though I'm not saying don't do that if that will make you happy. What I am saying is that every day is an opportunity for adventure, happiness, and improvement, or another day of being unhappy and unfulfilled. We spend so much time on that just doesn't matter, when we should make sure we spend that time on the important stuff. You can start by making sure you spend time with people who fill up your brain with stories that start with, remember that time we all never forget it? 
Whether it's a quiet night with friends, enjoying a beer and swapping stories, playing a board game, or climbing a freaking mountain in a foreign country, we need to take advantage of the fact that today is a good day to be above the roses. If you can fill your day with adventure, improvement, and gratitude, you're on the right path. Joy remains. Just a few short days after the rock boat, I got to be the best man at the wedding of my best friend Cash, whom I've known since first grade, and I've been on so many incredible adventures with. We shared so many memories nobody would ever believe. Cash was the travel partner that joined up with me for many of my crazy adventures around the world. As I was putting together my speech for the newly married couple, I couldn't help but think back on my previous week on the rock boat, my friend Tiffany, whose light burned out far too soon, and how fortunate I am to spend another day alive and well. Here's what I said. Quote, in my brief time on this planet, I've come to learn a few things. Although we don't get to pick how much time we get to have, we do get to choose two things, who we spend our time with and what types of stories we have with those people, end quote. Although Tiffany's life was cut too short, I'm grateful for the time I had with her and the lessons she taught me about playing life on Legendary. I'm grateful for my friendship with Cash and the ridiculous stories we've had together. There are so many things we take for granted, but none more so than our health and the time we have left. We can control one and we have no clue about the other. So make sure today is an opportunity to go to bed saying, I live today right. I have two quests for you today. Pick up the phone and call a friend or family member you're grateful to have in your life and let them know you're glad he or she is in your life. And do one thing today that reminds you it's a great day to be alive, whether it's playing music, going for a hike with your dog, starting to plan a big trip, or grabbing dinner with a friend you haven't seen in a while. Do something billions of people would give anything to have the chance to do again. Cash, thanks for the adventures and letting me be a part of your wedding. Tiffany, thanks for everything you've taught me. You will be missed. As my friends in Gaelic Storm say, here's to one more day above the roses. You just listened to the post titled, There Are No Extra Lives, Make This One Count by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Super touching, that one was tough for me to narrate actually. I really liked it. Hope is impactful for you too. And real quick, don't forget, Gusto offers modern, easy payroll, benefits, and HR to small businesses across the country. Get in touch now and get three months free when you run your first payroll. Just go to gusto.com slash old. That's gusto.com slash old. I'll do it for today. Thank you for being here. Have a great rest of your day. Take advantage of it and I'll see you in the Wednesday show tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.